Welcome back to Hila Live. Now, South Africa's unemployment rate improved marginally by 0 0.7 percentage points to 31.7 percent in the third quarter of the year. According to Stats SA, the country recorded its eighth consecutive quarter of employment increases, adding 399,000 workers to those who have a job in the country. Even more positively, the number of employed persons in the country has hit 16.7 million, which is higher than 16.4 million recorded before the COVID-19 pandemic devastated the country. Joining me now is Desiree Manamela, who is Stats SA's Director of Labor Statistics. Desiree, good day, and thank you so much for joining us here on Hila Live. Yes, good day, good day, and thank you for having me. No, it's an absolute pleasure. Now, I know, Desiree, when we spoke for the second quarter statistics, I think we were both holding thumbs for some good, uh, 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 for good news for the third quarter. And of course, it has happened. But, but just break us down with regards to those contributing factors to really the slight decline in the unemployment rate. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think in the third quarter, um, we saw an increase in employment. Um, because remember the, how we derive employment rate, we use the labor the labor force mm. and we look at the people who are employed and unemployed. And what happened is that during the quarter we saw the number of employed persons increasing from 16.3 million in the second quarter to 16.7 million in the third quarter. And um, just to, to, to confirm this, mm. uh, this number 16.7 million we have not seen it uh, even pre-COVID. This is the highest number of employed persons that we have seen. And it basically has surpassed what we saw during COVID, I mean, before COVID. Now, on top of that, what we saw that is the number of unemployed persons, which also declined by 72,000 from 7.9 million to 7.8 million. And interestingly is that um, in the working age population, we also have the people that we call the not economically active population. As much as we saw employment increasing, unemployment decreasing, we have this group that we say they are not economically active, meaning they are basically not contributing to the labor market. Now, when we see the number de declining, we are happy to say that the people are now moving into the labor market, meaning they are starting to look for jobs. Some are also uh, being absorbed into the labor market. And uh, it sort of shows a positive sign in the labor market that people are now starting to willingly participate in the labor market. So we saw employment uh, increasing, unemployment declining, which basically contributed to the decline in unemployment rate of 0.9% in the, in the court. Desiree, 16.4 million people had jobs just before, of course, COVID-19 uh, had started and really took quite a hit for the country. We're now on 16.7 million. I mean... When you, when, you, when you looked at those stats, and I think both you and I as South Africans, it must have brought a lot of joy knowing that there is an upward trend in terms of the amount of employed people within our country. Mm -hmm. um, yes, that's, that's true. I mean, um, we saw employment increasing, increasing in, the, in most of the uh, industries. And we saw employment being created in industries like finance, community and social services agriculture, trade, construction, private households. And I mean, this is this is sort of good news to say that, I mean, industries are now starting to hire again. Remember, during COVID, mm. a lot of businesses had to close, some had to let uh, the employees go. Now we are seeing that uh, business are starting to hire again. We are seeing hours worked starting to increase because we saw also saw that hours worked decline during COVID. Now post COVID, we are seeing that uh, we are going back to uh, the numbers that we saw uh, before COVID. Desiree, um, there is one worrying stat, actually two, but we'll, uh, it's intertwined with each other. The the number of job creation vis-a-vis -vis that, of course, of the uh, the workforce there's still a little bit of an imbalance. As Stats SA, is that something that you're going to be uh, looking at, seeing, all right, how much of job creation can there be and can it balance out the amount of workforce the country has? Um, yeah, I think, I think what you are saying is, 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 is true. Mm. Um, we are saying that, and we are also stressing that um, the number of employed persons increased to 16.7 million. 
And uh, what we also see is that as a measure of whether the people are being absorbed in the labor market, we have what we call absorption rate. And this is basically the proportion of those people that of working age, 15 to 64, that are employed. Now, when you compare it, for example, with 10 years ago, 2013, we saw the absorption rate uh, standing at about 43%. And at this current quarter that we are uh, looking at, absorption rate is standing at 41%. So as much as we are seeing the level of employment increasing, we have not been able to reach the number or the percentage of uh, or the proportion of those people of working age who are in employment that we saw about 10 years ago in, in 2013. Because at the moment, it's standing at 41%. So basically, it means 41% of the working age population is in employment. Desiree, um, and on, yeah, on, please do okay. continue. Yeah, please do continue. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Um, on top of that, we have also what we call the labor force participation rate. Labor force participation rate, we like to look at it uh, in conjunction with absorption rate and unemployment rate. Now, labor force participation rate it basically means that uh, the proportion of the working age population that is either employed or unemployed. Now, at this in this quarter, quarter three of 2023, that number is standing at 60.2%. And compared to 10 years ago, it has improved, mm. I would say. It has improved and it is also at almost close to what we saw before COVID. So people are starting now to participate, either by being employed or by looking for jobs. Because it is, in, in terms of the priority rules of uh, defining who is employed, who is unemployed, and who's inactive. It is basically better to be employed and unemployed than not to be not economically active. Because we have that group that we call the discouraged work seekers. Mm. They want to work, but they are not looking. Mm. So if they are moving now from being discouraged to being unemployed or to being employed, it's basically a good thing to say that we have about 60.2% of the population of working age that are in the labor force, that are either employed or unemployed. Desiree, um, when, we, when we spoke during the, uh, the second quarter, uh, mining was still in the negative, finance was in the positive. It's still the same when you're looking at the third quarter. So, I mean, when you look at mining, they've got a long way to go, but finance is heading in the right direction, isn't it, in terms of being in the green? Yeah. I mean, finance, if you look at finance, for example, um, finance is in the green, yes, mm -hmm. you're right. Mm -hmm. We are looking at thousand uh, jobs that were created in, 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 the, in, the, in the third quarter as compared to the, to the second quarter. And um, uh, however, jobs are... Uh, jobs that are basically in the other business uh, activity sector, which is basically the sector that is not elsewhere classified. This includes uh, um, labor brokers, debt collectors, you know, that's, so it covers uh, all of those. However, we still see improvement in the banking center, financial intermediation. It also showed a positive in the in the in the third quarter. We also saw that insurance and pension funding uh, sector also created some employment during the quarter. So finance, yes, it is in the in the, in the positive. And mining on the other side, mining, um, yes, it's. It declined by about 35,000 uh, in the third quarter. And if you look at what the sub-industries that uh, sort of um, contributed to that decline, we are looking at mining of non-ferrous metal ores, which declined by about 11,000 in the in the quarter. We saw coal and ignite also declining there. We saw mining of gold also declining um, in the in the same quarter. Desiree, I think your dog's also happy with regards to the unemployment rate going down. I mean, he wants to have a little word with regards to our conversation. Desiree, thank you so much for joining us here on uh, Hilal Live. Absolute pleasure having you. Do enjoy your weekend. All right, thank you very much for us. <laughs> yeah, absolute pleasure. Desiree Manamela, she's that essays Director of Labor Statistics. So after the break, I'll have your latest in news, finance and sports. Do stay tuned.